Uh, you want to approach uh, south on La Brea or east or west on Melrose. Do not approach north on La Brea. Do not approach north on La Brea. That's a blind spot. That reminds me of back in the 60s, Charles Whitman in the tower at, uh, at the University of Texas. Look at this guy. It doesn't look like he's defending a store or anything. It just looks like he's taking pot shots, doesn't it? He looks like a wacko with a gun to me. Yeah. Getting off a lot of pot shots, too. Well, again, we don't know who he was shooting at or if he hit anybody. This was earlier tonight, much earlier, about 7 o'clock. There are the police staying yeah. out of the line of fire, which is I don't correct. believe we're going to see the conclusion to this on tape. Now the man is out of sight. We would like to be able to tell you how this one ended, but we are not sure. Well, let's stay with the tape for as long as we can. Maybe this we'll is, get some answers. This, this is, is it. All right. It's another piece of tape uh, that we had standing by, which was the tape from Circuit City, where Rick Romero and Laura Diaz, Laura Diaz were in Hollywood. And this is at uh, is it Western and Sunset. Uh, in that area, Circuit City, there's a Crown Books there that, right. uh, that I know well. I've been in that bookstore a couple of times. And Laura and Rick said that this store was being robbed in now, waves. Watch People what happens come. here. Sunset. Two television sets. Do they come back and get them? Yep. Somebody else does. Somebody else does with a VCR in one hand and picks up the TV with the other. Right now. Now, there's the gun. Laura was very close to that man when he did that and says that she's pretty sure that gun was pulled on, on she and the cameraman. And the only reason he ran is because there was a security officer nearby who also had a gun. If not, Laura's pretty convinced that uh, they would have been the target of, uh, of uh, some gunfire from that young man. That young man didn't apparently want his picture taken while he was stealing television sets, but the majority of people running in and out of this store didn't seem to notice or care. Nor have they cared uh, uh -uh. throughout all this. Uh -uh. As a matter of fact, some of them take great delight in it. Now, if we turned off our cameras and went home with this stop, not likely. Don't think so. Yeah, he's having a good time. This was tonight about 9 o'clock. Yeah, guess. and this there's no police pol uh, presence now, but you will see later on in the tape that the police do arrive. But Laura and Rick said that the police would show up at this building, as has been happening uh, in so many other spots. They'd scare away the people who were looting. Then they'd be called to something else, and a little time would go by, and the looters would be back. She said uh, that this store was just... Well, here's a guy with a, with a dolly. Taken. With a pull dolly. Yeah. I don't think he gets anything out of there because the police are about to show up here in about 15 No, but seconds. either he came prepared with that dolly or he found it somewhere. Yeah, he found it and used it. Is that a fire extinguisher? Yeah. Well, maybe that'll come in good use. Now, why is he running? Because here come the cops. I don't know if we see more than one police car. I don't think we do. This has been happening tonight in the Hollywood neighborhood. Not so many fires, a few fires, but a lot of looting going on, a lot of broken windows, a lot of stealing. On Hollywood Boulevard, we heard from Alex Payne two or three times along Hollywood Boulevard, not far from here. Now, see, they're not in any real great hurry. I mean, it's uh, the, the police, there's the police, and this is a pattern we've seen over and over the last 24, well, it's more than 24 hours now. They're in no big hurry. Yeah, the cops are here, but we're gonna back this thing out and take off. We've got the stuff in the trunk, and uh, that's gonna be about it. Now, for so long a time, there was nobody looting, being arrested too much. They just seemed to figure that they were gonna let them take it, and as long as no lives were being threatened or property being yeah let me uh, really just destroyed. talk over that they... so you didn't hear it maybe huh?
now? Are they uh, officers? As they have so many times after the fact, will go up and uh, basically secure the area, and even when they leave, they uh, the, the looters come back. And that's the way this one ends, pretty much, with yeah. the police there restoring uh, order for the moment. Um, we asked Laura if she wanted to get back out among them, no. uh, and she said that she didn't think so. She hadn't come that close to being shot before. Laura was about as shook she up as shaken. I've seen Laura be. Uh, Rick Romero, uh, now here they are, guns drawn, uh, apparently thinking there's somebody else in there. Rick uh, Romero uh, went back outside to, uh, to cover another location. But it's a different story. You see people running in and taking things, that's one thing. But when they pull out a gun as they're leaving the building, uh, that's a different picture. Here we, we are, are going.